high definition. This is Coin Local 6 News at 11. Houses are being riddled with bullets. We've been actually pretty lucky that more people have been hit. Five shootings just since Tuesday in Portland police now increasing patrols to try to stop the violence. We rode along tonight with officers as they checked the city's hot spots for crime. Mm -hmm. And the very latest shootings actually happened on Wednesday night near Northeast 111th Avenue and not. And last night near Northeast Shaver and 125th. Joel Iwanaga is there live tonight with more on this crime alert. Joel. Kelly and Jeff, good evening. Officers with gang enforcement admit that tensions are running extremely high right now among rival gang members. The latest shooting late last night, to give you a live look right now, you can see the boarded up windows here. This is actually the balcony of here, one of these apartments. This is where the gunfire erupted, and officers say this rise in gang shootings is alarming. Flashing lights and shattered glass from a screen door window. After five rounds are shot from a suspected gang member's handgun Thursday night in Northeast Portland. Police say the people inside were innocent. It's the latest in a series of gang related shootings, the fifth since Tuesday. Regina Campbell lives next door. Personally, I find it pretty scary. I mean, you never know what could happen or um, if anyone was injured. It's always concerning. Tonight, we rode along with the Portland Police Bureau's gang enforcement team. Sergeant Ken Dulio admits to being more than concerned with the rash of gang violence in recent weeks. I mean, I think what's concerning now is, is how quickly the retaliation is happening. Um, there's been five shootings since Tuesday. Including this shooting near Northeast 111th Avenue and not, where suspected gang members shot up a home with 13 people inside, including young children. Three adults were shot. There's no word on how they're doing tonight. So that's obviously very alarming and concerning when somebody's that reckless, firing that many bullets into a house. Could have killed, you know, multiple people. Police tell me this weekend they're adding more officers to patrol the city's known gang hotspots. The spike in gang shootings has certainly caught the attention of concerned neighbors like Regina Campbell as tensions between rival gangs continue to escalate. I know they're going to do extra patrols, which makes us feel a little bit more comfortable, but it's still scary because you just never know if it's going to happen again. Back live now, officers say the recent warmer weather has also contributed to the skyrocketing gang violence. Again, this Easter weekend, gang officers will be out in full force. Reporting live here in Northeast Portland, I'm Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. Kelly and Jeff, we'll see.